Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. First, if you haven't seen part one of this video, then definitely go and check it out. It is still getting views a few months later and even inciting controversy in the comments. I've linked to it below for your convenience. I mean, how dare anyone demonstrate using hard science that there is indeed biological and physiological differences between the races? because that challenges the far left's beautiful lie about equality. In any case, that first video looked at the average testosterone levels amongst blacks compared to other races, as well as bone density, plus two distinct uh, proteins that significantly affect muscle building. This video is going to address another element I never considered before. That was brought to my attention by a viewer and was a worthy point for investigation. Do blacks possess a different muscle fiber composition than whites or other races? It turns out non-Hispanic blacks appear to have a greater percentage of type 2 skeletal muscle fibers. Specifically, black Africans have a greater number of type 2A muscle fibers and whites a higher number of type 1. This led researchers to conclude that blacks are better equipped for sporting events of shorter duration. Some of you may be asking, what effect does muscle fiber composition actually have? Type 1 fibers, which whites possess more of, are known as slow twitch muscle fibers, whereas type 2 fibers, which blacks possess more of, are known as fast twitch muscle fibers. Endurance athletes tend to possess a greater amount of type 1 muscle fibers, whereas strength and power athletes tend to possess a greater amount of type 2A muscle fibers. Finally, fast twitch type 2 fibers tend to be better suited to gaining size. However, as demonstrated by the study by Ama et Alia uh, that I shared previously, while differences between type 1 and type 2A fibers are significant between blacks and whites, they are not grossly disproportionate. Furthermore, type 2B fiber makeup doesn't appear to be significantly different between blacks and whites. Ergo, we cannot look solely at muscle fiber type to conclude why, as I demonstrated in my first video on this topic, blacks generally have 5 to 7% greater body protein content than do whites. Rather, we need to consider all of the elements that I've discussed in these two videos, possibly even elements that I've yet to read about. I feel that the sum is greater than the parts. Anyway, do let me know what you all think in the comments below. It was because of discussion after my previous video that I was inspired to do this one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and to share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep on top of my regular updates. With that, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.